The sun is the major source of energy. This giant gas ball is the only reason for our solar system to have formed origination of lives and majorly the source to our greatest energy form, the sunlight. Light was introduced to our planet Earth from this great source of energy. If there was no sun, we would have never known light. If it was not the sun, we would never have existed at all. Hypothetically, even if we had existed, we wouldn't have celebrated the new year. In the modern world, we celebrate the new year every time our mother Earth has finished its complete revolving around the sun. Earth. Spinning around the sun is very important to all lives. If Earth did not rotate, one half of Earth would always be hot and bright, and the other part would be frozen and dark. So this nature of Earth is one of the reasons that makes our mother Earth a habitable planet. Our Earth takes approximately 365.25 days to complete one revolution around the sun. Every planet takes its own time to complete its cycle around the sun. We already know, year is a measurement of time. But what is a light year? Is that a measurement of time, distance, or time taken by light to complete its revolution around the sun? To make things easy, light year is not a measurement of time, rather a measurement of distance. Let's get deep into this with an example. Meet Rick and his clone Jack. Rick can run at a speed of fastest object ever created by human. And Jack can run at a speed of light. Let's say Rick and Jack runs from a building named Sun to a building named Earth. Jack, traveling at speed of light, reaches the building Earth in 8 minutes and 20 seconds, whereas Rick took 8.8 .8 hours. This 8 minutes and 20 seconds is the exact time taken by Jack to reach Earth from Sunday. Now you know Jack was a representation of light particle in vacuum. Generally we can calculate time, speed, and distance using this triangle. As we know Jack ran at a speed of 671 million miles per hour in 500 seconds, the distance between Sun and Earth is derived to be 93 million miles. The distance that Jack travels in one minute is called the light minute. Which puts up with simple multiplications, the distance covered by Jack in one hour being called light hour. The distance covered by Jack in one day to be called light day. The distance covered in a month is called the light month. distance covered by light in one year is light year. Our universe. It is really big. And, our Mother Earth is just like a sand grain on an infinite beach. In astronomy it becomes very much necessary to measure distance between different objects in space that is millions of miles apart. And that is where light year becomes a much easier representation of distance. We 
leave your thoughts about the video, and also comment if Rick can overtake Jack, in the any future? Ah, meaning will human invent something that travels at the speed of light?